dear children, that love blessings bring peace to your bodies, minds and hearts. Marriage, children, is a time for unity. They are immersed in turbulent situations that are requesting of you more harmony, tranquility and union, because, beloved in everything you face, there is a call. Turbulent situations that require internalization, because you are learning that in the chaos, do not find peace if you do not you return to within yourself. Beloved, do not walk the cross currents of love. You, workers of light, my children, have need to walk together so that you can perform in the best way, your roles as way showers. Walk together, with mutual love and respect. And walk together without discord, no conflict, no disrespect. Children, the union is necessary, since for many of your lives you have been to large guerrilla camp struggle to stand up for what you believed. Now, in some cases, this fight has insisted settle again between the way showers. When, through beliefs, conflict and tries to prove to each other their value and their belief, a negative field is created and attracts more negative forces yet. These long for such opportunities to put you, more and more against each other. I have seen, my beloved, some of my children accusing each other in order to support their ideas, moving streams of separation. Beloved, understand therefore that you are seen by the very forces opposed to love. With the minimum gap that dates through behaviors that are inconsistent with the teachings of my son, I fall in the most dangerous of vanities, the spiritual vanity. Remember that for a long time, they were bound by hard concepts of religions created to hold you and you prune. Do not fall into this trap again, creating around you an air of superiority, which ultimately lead you to the separation. Let, then, that everyone who is at your side to do its role in the service of light, avoiding any kind of comparison with your neighbor. Do not waste your time in critical judgments against those who, for some reason, not in the same line as you. Does not mean they are inferior or superior, but simply because they experience different experiences, each according to his soul plan. In the end, everything you experience will take you forever to God, for there is no other way, dear. There is not. Only love and God exist. Union does not mean that you should condone what not resonate. It means respecting all around you, being aware that there are no wrong ways. What is wrong for some of you may be right for your neighbor. Understand, beloved. Time is running out for you to understand your neighbor and not stage for disputes as in the past. Believe not that old energy on your way, much less loved among themselves charge you to bring torches of light and truth to this world. And the truth is love, love without prejudice, respectful love, understanding love, patient love, the love that liberates, the unconditional love. It is, at all times, being watched by children who still live in the darkness of incomprehension, who love the same way as you. Understand, then, that they feed and plan against you to separate yourselves, following what they still believe, divide and conquer. Do not fall in these traps, beloved, be not stumble. I, your mother in Christ, I ask you kindly. Observe your world, observe the cleaning that you are experiencing. Your world, the beloved Mother Earth needs you. You need gentle, peaceful and united in love. God, beloved, God needs you, as he works through you, and the more of you abide in connection with him, soon will experience the jump ahead. Not anxious to save the world, because the world is in God's hands and God works through you. Worrying it shows a lack of faith and it is time to know that. Abide in tune with him, that he make light through you, dispelling the darkness and the light showing roads for those who wish to follow it. When you, you worry about saving the world, you are entangled in conflicts and pain, perpetuating more of it in your heart and, still, many times, you fall into the traps of vicissitudes. When, therefore, open yourselves unto your hearts to God and you see the world through the eyes of the heart, God will act for you and begin to illuminate your path and darkness will vanish as they cannot be sustained in the light. Many of you are concerned when they see someone following a path you deem wrong and, in some cases, quarries to alert you and save it. This often disappoints you, for what you deem wrong to the other, it is right for him. Thus, if it is determined in the way, not retreat and you irritate you'll indignantly. Do not fall into this trap of spiritual vanity, 
Beloved as a true display of the path does not run behind followers nor indignant when someone does not resonate with what is shown through it. Just acting like a beacon, lights and leaves all free to follow his ways, according to what they believe to be correct. Abide only in your heart, preparing fragrant garden for the needy soul's love perfume come to you by themselves, attracted by the unmistakable scent of unconditional love. Free and you are free you will leave. A display of the path always remains upright and confident. He knows that the light is with him and do not have to prove it, because, through their way of acting in the face of events, shows its light spontaneously. A worker of light, display the way, do not throw their energy out in vain discussions. Does not try to prove and show their light. Not indignant, because the other follows a different path. Much less hold, but leaves free so that everyone has their own experiences according to their level of consciousness. Beloved, advancing to high vibrations, now is the time to form a harmonious and respectful environment among all. So believe that I, Mary, your mother, I am more present now in your life, because I'm handing me even more to terrestrial humanity, in order to enter definitely in your hearts. I want to turn you into the divine code of my Immaculate Heart, that you may see to themselves and to others you as perfect beings before God. Beloved, I invite you, by me, to anchor in every heart the energy of divine perfection. Come, dear, come to me and allow me to go into your hearts and in it do address. Connect your love in everyone, so that no more food useless conflicts, because you are lights and have need not prove it to anyone. Light is light, beloved. The ego wants to prove its value and you, dear, you need not fall into that trap again. May we hear the voice in loving whispers of your mother talking to your ears and hearts. Just because, just give yourself God and He, through you, will do wonders. Beloved, I will leave now pouring over you all my blessings and involving everyone in my cloak of protection, because I am Mary, your mother.